Hello, uh, super quick video about AS Rock motherboards and their LEDs. So you've just built your lovely new computer and um, you've configured the LEDs using the software. Uh, you can do it in BIOS uh, or you can download the um, little controller software for real time sort of tweaking while you're in Windows. Um, but then this happens, you go to start and then shut down you think, great, that's my computer shut down. Uh, and it has shut down, except the LEDs stay on, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but don't worry, because here's how you fix it. So what you do is you need to restart your computer and then press delete to get into the BIOS. And we're going in there now. So I'll flick it around. And there's the BIOS, and you go to advanced mode, and then you go to advanced again, and you've got chipset configuration there. Click on chipset configuration, scroll right down to the bottom, and you've got onboard, turn on onboard LED in S5. The default has it as being enabled. If you select disabled, and then go to exit save changes and exit obviously it'll reboot so we'll just let it reboot um, it's super quick because it's got a m.2 in it so here we have windows coming up now and that's windows there and you can see the LEDs are on so what I'll do is I'll do the shutdown start shut down and then we'll see what happens now I've adjusted that setting so it's shutting down now and here we go they're now off so it's a very simple um, fix but it's quite annoying because you can't do it in the software and the, the setting is hidden away a little bit so yeah that's how you turn the LEDs off when the um, when it powers down um, like and subscribe that would be helpful um, any questions um, pop them in the comments and uh, thanks for watching.